For the first time, some of the people who attended that deadly Astro World concert in Houston are sharing their very personal stories. They say they could have easily been among the 10 who were crushed to death that November night. Tonight, CBS 11's J.D. Miles was able to get an early copy of a new documentary for you to take a look at ahead of its premiere tomorrow in Dallas. The accounts you are about to hear from concert goers who escaped the human crush at that Travis Scott concert back in November are simply chilling. A Carrollton woman speaking for the first time says she owes her life to her brother who pulled her to safety. I can't move. Oh my God. By now, many of us have seen the gut wrenching videos recorded by concert goers trapped inside barricades and slowly suffocating at the Astro World Festival on November 5th in Houston. <laughs> 10 people would lose their lives, another 25 hospitalized, and 300 injured. Hey, we can't go back. We can't go back. We can't Concert Crush is a new documentary that takes a closer look at the tragic night and interviews eight survivors, including two North Texans. Like I couldn't feel anything in my chest. Who haven't head. spoken publicly before. My brother, um, he tried pushing me up. I got pushed onto the floor on my knees and I kind of like closed my eyes because I just, I thought it was my time to just go. Edson Espinoza was willing to sacrifice himself to get his sister Ingrid free from the mass of bodies rushing the stage. A lot of things were going through my mind because I didn't want it to leave his side, but I know my brother wanted me to be safe. The documentary shows the mayhem before the concert and reveals that the life-threatening crush began well before Travis Scott even took the stage. Uh, this was just a utter colossal failure, a fiasco, an atrocity. Again, top to bottom, side to side. Uh, who was the adult in the room that day, that night? This was uh, chaotic. It was a free for all, 100% insanity. Is it a multiple or is it we've all found out unconscious in the crowd? Director Charlie Mann obtained Houston police and fire communications that declared the concert a mass casualty event, but let it continue for another 37 minutes until Scott finished his show. He's wearing an earpiece. So the $64,000 question is what exactly did Travis Scott know? I think there should be criminal charges. When you look at the end result, 10 people died. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, and this is not even a mass shooting. This was preventable. And we should note that neither Scott nor Houston police responded to the claims in the documentary, which premieres here at Look Cinema tomorrow evening. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.